The CZP07 is a really popular pistol for a number of reasons. We've done the review on this pistol and I'll have it annotated right here for you to check out. But one of the cool things they've done is it comes with a decocker. And a decocker to me is really great, especially if you're concealed carrying. Uh, but one of the problems with decocking is that it interferes somewhat with the trigger. And CZs typically have really good trigger systems. Uh, but with that, included is a standard safety, so you can carry this cocked and locked, or you can drop the hammer uh, and carry it with the hammer down. And so what we're going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and install, show you how to install the regular safety, and then we're going to reinstall the decocker so you'll see how it's done. This will also be the same process you use for the PO9 as well. And of course, first thing we want to do is make sure the gun is unloaded, and it is. Now we're going to break down the pistol. Right here there are witness marks on the frame and then right here on the slide. You want to meet those together. Once they're met together, you can take a small punch right here, just push through the takedown lever. Now you want to bring the slide back and then forward. Now we don't need the slide so we're just going to set it aside. Now you can do this just with two hands on a bench, but we're going to go ahead and put this in a bench vise, and I have some of these magnetic uh, rubber covers here that are going to protect the frame. And you don't really have to do this too tight, otherwise I probably wouldn't do this. Just going to set it in, just make it to where it doesn't wobble around. Okay, at this angle you can see the ejector, and you're going to want to push this in the down position and hold it down. Pressing down the ejector, that's going to release the cocking lever. So you can just kind of pop that right out. Now if you'll notice there's a spring right here. You're going to make sure you don't lose that little spring. But this will just wiggle right out. There we go. Then we're going to go ahead and remove our spring. Right here on the trigger bar you want to depress it down. And that's going to release the other cocking lever. There we go. Now we're going to install our standard safety. You're going to want to go with the left hand first. Take your trigger bar, push it down, go up high on the up position and then bring it down. And then you can release your trigger bar. Come in with the safety the other side, the right side, push down on the ejector and slide it through. There you go. Snaps into place. Go test for function. Down. That's on safe. That's on fire. Now to remove the safety just press down on the ejector. Pull your safety out on the right side first. Push down on your trigger bar, turn it up, and it pulls right out. Now to reinstall the decocker, we're going to take the left paddle first. Push down on that trigger bar, and have your paddle in the up position. This is the best way to fit it, and then just bring it down like that and release your trigger bar. Now we're going to take the right side, we're going to push our ejector in. Now before we put the bar all the way across, you'll notice this little hole right here, and that is a little roll pin. The little foot here on this spring extension is going to fit down into the roll pin. And so we're going to have to go ahead and fit that before we bring the bar on over. Now I found that taking a small pair of pliers is the best way to insert it. Once you place it in that hole, it should stay right there. Now that we have the spring in place, we're going to push down on the ejector to allow that to go through. Okay, now you can see where the spring is going I mean, on the decocker rod and it snaps into place. Now you'll notice this little arm right here. We're going to take and depress it and put it behind the little leg on the cam. And I'm going to hope to demonstrate it, but between the camera and the light that may be a problem because this is a little bit tricky.
Now you can see where the spring rests right behind the arm on the cam. Now we're going to test this out. Of course, we've got the hammer back on it without the slide, so be very gentle. Bring the decocker down, and it works. Now we're going to replace the decocker and put the standard safety back in. I just did this for you guys. <laughs> Make sure you hold on to your extra parts of the decocker. Obviously, I'm going to hold on to and put it in my box. Now, I want to reassemble the pistol. Line up your witness marks. Snap it into place. You're good to go. We're going to check our trigger pull with our Lyman trigger gauge. Four pounds, 0.9 ounces, three pounds, 13 ounces, four pounds, three ounces, four pounds, 3.5 ounces. So you're getting less trigger, about three ounce difference by switching over to your standard safety. CZ has been making firearms since the 1930s, and it's just a world-famous arms manufacturer. And the quality has just been phenomenal. The CZ does have a lot of cult following. And if you want to see a full review of this pistol, I've just done a review on it. Uh, I'll have it linked right here and annotated. You can go to it. But just an excellent pistol. All of CZ products are just fantastic. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. CZ is a great. CZ has been designing fire. CZ has been making firearms for centuries. CZ has been making firearms for decades. I'm going to take a pair of tweezers. You can take whatever. I'm going to take a pair of tweezers. You can use whatever will help. I'm going to take a small pair of tweezers to put that into place. I'm going to take a small pair of needle nose pliers. Uh, some of the most sought after guns in the country, in the world. Push down the ejector. Okay. Okay, what? 